What decision did you made that had everyone doubt you? How did that decision work out for you? When I told people I was moving to a different state they thought I was crazy. I think they all have Stockholm Syndrome. They told me things wouldn't be any different and I was just running away from my problems. Things are a lot different. I'm much happier being in a place where the people aren't crazy bigots, and I've had more career opportunities as well. A while back, my family was playing this escape room type game. One of the group puzzles required us to quickly choose two of three liquids to pour on a rapidly growing plant to keep it from killing us. Each of the three had a certain effect on the plant and your combination had to kill the plant. We can slow the plant's growth. Grow, increase the plant's growth. Weird, reverse the other chemical and double down on the opposite effect. Well, we're going through and deciding which ones to use, and everyone starts to settle on one combination, the weakened card and the weird card, but I didn't think that was right. I explained that we needed to use the growth card and the weird card. Despite explaining myself clearly in multiple ways, my dad was vehement and almost hateful about being right and everyone else was just falling in line with whatever he said. When the timer ran out, my dad very proudly flipped over the solution card only to find my solution listed, not theirs. My dad got really quiet and just looked at the cards for a moment. Everyone was just like, what's he gonna do? Finally, he spoke up and said, since one of us had the right solution, we'll just play on as though we'd picked the right one. I tried to become an accountant despite hating maths and everyone around me was polite but politely asked, are you sure this is for you? I failed badly. I tried so hard and failed. It simply wasn't for me. I'm good at finance but just not the mathematics side required for accountancy exams. I ended up in a finance job I love so much, I'm self-employed so can work when I want but I work a lot because I enjoy it. People laughed at me when I quit physical labor and working towards end my career to go work in an office and take up programming. Faced with tears of joy. I make a lot and I haven't had a concussion in like 13 years. Hands pressed together. Not partying and going for the college experience. I now make 200k right out of uni. Marriage. My husband's ex-friends, a boyfriend and a girlfriend, especially with how they said we weren't going to last and how they treated me like I was an unwanted accessory to my husband. We are still married 12 years later, and those two aren't together anymore. Buying a house in a sketchy but gentrifying area. Same PPL that doubted the decision can't afford to live here now. Deciding to go into nursing as a male was typically viewed as a female dominated industry. I met some of my best friends during the program who are in fields that are thriving and providing care to patients. The money and work life balance is hard to see in any other industry. I had a series of short stories on DeviantArt back when I had a good few hundred people following and commenting. I had people discussing it just like they talk about a popular TV show. So I naturally did the next logical step. I released the final two installments, and then published a Kindle edition. My fans were mostly down on the idea. My family was mostly doubting me. I made about enough for a case of beer and a single cheap strip loin steak. Then I published a sequel. It made about $20. My mom had bought a copy. I went into trucking years ago and everyone in my family second guessed me and put down a job and lifestyle. Up until that point I had barely made over min wage and it effectively tripled my income. Every time I was home I got nothing but terrible advice to quit and go back into a just awful low paying jobs. Ignored everyone, did it for several years and was able to save enough to go back to school for an even better paying trade that sees me home every day and to put a down payment on a house. I got to see the world and it was because of trucking I met my wife. 
I was actually making more than the rest of my family when I started trucking too, but according to them it was a trash job. When I decided to relocate to Dallas, Texas in 2020, everyone told me how I should stop myself. But for some reason, it was something I had to do during that time of my life. So, I did just that. Everyone tried to stop me. Moving there became a quick shit show. Eventually, I ended up moving back home to Michigan and that is when growth and development start to occur within myself, beyond my years. Honestly, I never would have grown up, had I never did this. Getting married at 21, after knowing her for less than a year. Still married 34 years later, I'm still here. One time my dad says he can get me to join where he worked and I chose to stay in because I would hate to go to work at 4 p.m. and come out at 2 a.m. Everyone in my family was saying I was dumb for staying on this place that's been falling for 30 years back then. Today 8 years after the decision I got better and earned my place. My boss who always thought I was a worm now puts trust and responsibility on my shoulders which is appreciated because in the past I was irresponsible, I died and pay attention, I was distracted. Now almost 10 years there, I'm focused and most importantly I'm well paid, past doesn't matter anymore. I got pregnant at 18 and decided to keep the baby. My family was supportive once they got over the shock. But all of my friends, and the father of my child, said I should get an abortion. Then when the time for that option had passed, they said I should put the baby up for adoption. I had my son, and only child, at 19 and raised him as a single mother for most of his childhood. Having him keeping him was, hands down, the best decision I've ever made. I'm on my eighth year of caregiving for my family. If given the opportunity I would do it all over again. Becoming my own best friend and leaving the party scene has been the best decision I have ever made. Alcoholism can sneak up on you if you aren't careful and I really needed this push to grow up. I decided to get a divorce and have never regretted it. Many people thought I was nuts, but I sure wasn't. I got a ton of pushback when I got my tubes tied after my third baby in three years at the ripe old age of 24. I was raised Mormon and was still Mormon. I got a lot of, God can't want you to do this, you need to have faith. You are not God. You don't get to subvert his will. Children are a miracle. I'm proud that as much of a pushover I was at that time, something inside me was like, when God wants to come be my living in, my surrogate, and wants to pay for all these kids, he can have a say. I am extremely grateful I only have three kids, because their friends keep moving into my house and heart, and it's expensive, god damn it. They need a ton of help and support to get through the teen years and launched into adulthood. If I had any more kids, they'd be alone in that. I think in today's world, having more than 2-3 kids means someone is experiencing neglect. Reminds me of visiting my BF apostrophe yes aunt, I was 18, who had 10 kids. I wanted a rake and shovel to clear their floors. I wanted to mop the walls. And I wanted to steal the little kid with dead eyes and a runny nose sitting in the corner under a table. Parents got to high-five themselves, because they fulfilled their callings, calling equals unpaid job in the church you aren't supposed to turn down and were going to the temple. Left ATL, moved out west. 40 years in ATL mind you, but AZ has been great. The idea of leaving your town, friends, life of 40 years probably seemed nuts many of our friends. But it was a great decision. I have made a lot of impulsive decisions in my life that everyone has doubted. I have no idea where I would be otherwise. They've made my life far more interesting. More complicated, but more interesting, and that is better than boring.